Okay, I'm just going to play the uh, solo for Long White Car and uh, you can see how I do it and then I'll talk a bit about it afterwards. Here we go. Move away from hell. Get away. Uh, right, I got through that fairly unscathed. It's a bit quicker than we play it nowadays. Um, some of it doesn't match up exactly because I don't really know how it happened way back in 1985. I think I was using very light strings and when I do the... <laughs> That bit doesn't, it doesn't, I can't really replicate that. I don't know how. I think it's because the strings bend differently when you have thicker strings as I do nowadays than I did then when I was a spindly youth. Um, anyway, you get the idea of how it's played. Um, this, for those of you who don't know this, uh, this scale, the song is in C major seven. <laughs> Uh, that's a C major chord and the scale I'm using is a blues scale really which is the A minor kind of pentatonic blues scale with a couple of extra notes thrown in so there's A here's the scale and as an alternative ending Other parts are like the top of the C bar chord here on the 8th fret. That's very Jimi Hendrix sort of uh, influence. And also when you're in the C, major uh, chord, you can also slide up and do these other parts. Which is why I got that that bit as well. Um, and this, the run at the end to do it slowly is uh, I did it on my um, red Tokai Strat which I still have, that's in the other video, and if you want to set it on a Strat to sound the same as that, on the same pickup setting, is the fourth setting between the middle and the back pickup. Uh, and the tune is very slightly very sped on the record, so it won't sound perfect with uh, rhythm guitar chords like I mentioned on the other video, but it's not so out of tune that it's annoying, especially if you're practicing the solo. Um, I hope this has been enough information. Maybe one day I will uh, do a tab for this. But in the meantime, uh, try your best with this video. Okay, bye. <laughs>